Hello and uh, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel whichever it is this uh, video that I'm going to do now today is basically aimed at consumers or people that own these uh, Valent Ecotech boilers one of the things that uh, we get asked or we ask the question on the phone obviously when we're getting phone calls from people concerning faults or repairs on their boilers the first one of the first things we say is like do you know which boiler you have or how old it is and most people get quite confused or they've got a rough idea and that's it. So, this is a quick rundown on the Valent Ecotech boiler. So, that's only been manufactured since 2005-06, up to date, which is 2020. So, uh, there are different models and basically two ranges, like big ranges, if you like, or whatever, which is the Ecotech 1, which they perfected in sort of 2010, 11 and 12, and then after they perfected probably one of the best combination uh, condensing boilers uh, on the market ever in the last 15 years, they scrapped it. And then they introduced a new model, completely new model, which is what we call the Ecotech 2. Okay, so we've got Ecotech 1, 2005, 6 to 2012. That got scrapped when it was basically perfect. And then they um, reintroduced the Ecotech in a new format which is the Ecotech 2, which is the one here, this one behind me here. So, if you want to know to tell the difference, it's very, very simple. If we look at the Ecotech 1, brilliant boiler, user controls, very, very easy to use from a user's perspective. Um, if, you, if you're not sure what you've got there, on the right-hand side, right down at the bottom, you've got a pressure gauge, which tells you how much, or if you've got water in the boiler, and roughly how much water's in the boiler, or if you've got enough or adequate uh, pressure in the system so it's a bit like petrol gauge in your car unbelievably easy and so easy to use if you need to top up or fill up the boiler because you can actually see the needle going up and you can turn it on and off as it goes up very very simple very simple on off switch power on power off and then we have two dials here which is for temperature control so i can control the temperature of the radiators not the house but the temperature of the actual radiators by using this dial here, just turn it up or turn it down. And exactly the same for hot water. Turn the temperature up, turn the temperature down. Very, very easy. Nice. However, God knows why, but when you look at the new Ecotech 2, you have no user controls at all. They've removed all of that for this very sleek and posh looking, aesthetically pleasing to the eye, Aisha panel which is about as much use as an Astro and a motorbike if you're a customer. Because all these controls that were on the Ecotech 1 are now in this very small liquid crystal display with a menu system. So now you have to scroll through a series of menus to carry out the same functions or tasks as what you would on the Ecotech 1 simply by turning a dial or visually just checking the water gauge. Very, very simple. Now that's all been taken away. So. Very, very easy to tell which boiler, boiler you've got, Ecotech 1 or the age of your boiler. If you've got an Ecotech and it's got temperature control and a pressure gauge visible on the display, you have an Ecotech 1, which means it was manufactured between 2005 and 2012. If you look at your display and you have no user controls, just an LCD display, you have the Ecotech 2, which was manufactured from 2012 up to date, which is this year is 2020. So to Ecotech 2, blank, flat display, no controls, Ecotech 1, uh, user controls, temperature dials, pressure gauge. Okay, now, before I disappear, one last thing, there are two types or two models of Ecotech boiler, combination boiler anyway. One is the Ecotech Plus, and the other is called an Ecotech Pro. Now the fundamental difference between the boilers themselves is that the Pro is a lot less over-engineered, it's a lot less complex, which makes it a lot more reliable. So the Pro is probably the better boiler to have out of the two. The Ecotech Plus is incredibly over-engineered, over-complicated and complex piece of engineering way above what I think is anywhere near required for something that basically just is just a boiler. But this is what we've got. Now, there's a very, very easy way to tell whether you've got a plus 
or a pro, okay? Because it, it applies to both. If you've got a plus, you will have a fancy door on the front to cover up your user controls. And the same with the Ecotec 2. If you've got a door on the front, it covers up the display. So if you've got a door, you have the over-engineered, very complicated plus model. If you don't have a door and the display is permanently there, so you can see it all the time, you have the pro model, which pat yourselves on the back because you've probably invested in the better of the two because it's going to be a lot more reliable and a lot less expensive to maintain and repair when it goes wrong. Okay, so Ecotech 1 has knobs. Ecotech 2 has no knobs. Ecotech Plus has a door. Ecotech Pro doesn't have a door. So if you've got knobs with a door, you've got an Ecotech 1, Ecotech Plus. Ecotech without a door, Ecotech Pro. With dials or knobs, Ecotech 1. Without dials or knobs, Ecotech 2. Okay, so I hope that's as clear as mud. <sighs> I'm worn out now. Exhausting just to try and explain the difference between two boilers. But there you go. It should be as clear as mud, but I hope that helps a bit. And if you get stuck, obviously, there's three of us knocking around London, by all means, give us a call, or you can give Bourgeois a bit of a call on the phone, and he'll try and help you out over the phone. So uh, hopefully we might see you, or might speak to you in some time in the future. Thanks for watching.